Hello, masters of science and public health, doctors of nurse anesthesia practice, and doctors of philosophy. Congratulations, you did it. Your hard work, long hours, and determination is paying off. And as much as I regret that we're not conferring your degrees in person with high fives and handshakes and hugs, I'm grateful to be able to offer these virtual congratulations for your very real accomplishments. I also am grateful for your commitment to science and health and the interest of the greater good. I know it feels like everything in the world these days is about COVID-19. Even now when we're celebrating and honoring how your dreams have come to fruition in the form of this important milestone, this pandemic serves to remind us how absolutely critical you are and will continue to be throughout your careers, especially in times like these. In fact, this particular moment in history shines a light on you and asks that you shine your own light on the world by using to your full capacity the training and expertise you earned at USC Keck School of Medicine. The knowledge and skills you acquired have equipped you to predict and respond to health crises like today's pandemic, to research, discover, innovate, practice, and apply all of your abilities and compassion when and where they are needed. It might be in a laboratory at an academic medical center or a pharmaceutical company. It might be in a classroom or on a health policy board or hospital administration. It might be behind a computer or a microscope. And it might be on the streets or in underserved communities where people need your help. Wherever it is, I implore you to dedicate yourselves to ending health disparities and engendering equity in a health system filled with fine people, but fraught with systemic injustice. Represent USC and Keck School of Medicine well by being a beacon for better and fighting on for those who cannot fight for themselves. People have tended historically and wrongly to dichotomize the science and the arts as though good science does not require imagination and invention. In recent years, that bisecting has been challenged as it should be. Like poetry and painting and other artistic endeavors, endeavoring to practice sound science, predict and prevent disease, formulate and promote smart policies, and generate equity, all demand enormous curiosity and creativity. Our success depends as much on the originality of our work as it does on proof of concept and precision. I am counting on, indeed the world is counting on you, to bring all you have to bear on improving and saving lives and to do so with utmost respect for others and for the professions that you choose. I know I speak for the faculty members and mentors you worked with here at Keck and for your families when I say, in this strange moment, please revel a bit in your moment and heal on. Dad, USC is calling. The commencement has started. They're wondering where you are. What? The commencement was canceled. Nobody tells me anymore. Well, Dad, because of the coronavirus, you're quarantined, but you have a choice. Do you A, want to be the Grand Marshal, or B, B. I... B. B. Kidding. I would love to be the Grand Marshal. Give me a moment. Hi, USC graduate students. I am Professor Kast, and I am your Grand Marshal this year. Well, you made it to the finish. And what a weird finish it is this year in this pandemic situation. I truly feel your disappointment. Your professors will not hoot you this year. As I was personally going to hoot my own daughter, DJ, for her graduate degree at USC. But I'm sure USC will find a way to do this at a later date. In the last two months, I have personally witnessed how resilient you are. You did not give up and continued working towards your graduate degrees. Despite all the hurdles that were put into your path, like Zoom classes and Zoom thesis defenses, I have had many of you in my classes and I personally saw your dedication to make these classes work. Thank you 
from all the faculty at HSC that you kept at it and completed your graduate degree. I will miss you, but the world is small. So I'm sure I will meet you somewhere in the future. And then we will rub elbows. Congratulations and fight on. Stay tuned because we will now have a video tribute to all of the students. This is not the setting in which any of us really thought we'd see our graduation in, but it is what we have. I know that the last span of time has seemed incredibly dark and bleak at times, but I just want to remind you all that the sun will come up until we can see the light and really the path forward. It's going to be one foot in front of the other. It is my absolute hope that as we all walk this path together, each of us is able to find peace, happiness, and most importantly, purpose through which we live our lives. Whether you've been here six years or one, congratulations, class of 2020. We made it. Now fight on. Congratulations, class of 2020. Despite all the challenges we faced this semester, we thrived and we made it. Fight on, Trojans. Congratulations to the class of 2020. We did it. Dear Kirk School of Maths and Graduate Students, uh, we are the School of Maths and Graduate Student Association, and we would like to congratulate for all your achievements in the uh, May. So congratulations. Congratulations. Hello, fellow Trojans. Congratulations. We've all worked so incredibly hard to reach this spectacular milestone in our lives, graduation. This moment is the culmination of a lot of hard work, long hours, some sleepless nights, and extraordinary determination. While our paths to this very moment are entirely unique to one another, we stand united as the next generation of leaders and innovators in our field. As we move forward in the trajectories of our lives, let us never forget that no challenge is insurmountable. We have the strength and ability to overcome any obstacle and rise to any occasion. And let us always remember that validation does not come from other people. It comes from within. Congratulations to the class of 2020, fight on. Congratulations. Wherever your path leads you next, medical school, research, policy, and anything and everything in between, let's remember to actively engage with the community around us as USC taught us, and always remember to fight on. most about USC is its culture of collaboration and the efforts that I witnessed so many individuals make to achieve common scientific goals or affect change within the communities that they were serving.
most about USD is the students, faculty, and staff that make this academic community so special. My most memorable moment at USD is how we have come together through this pandemic. We are definitely stronger together even when apart. My most memorable experience as a USC student was working all night on my SAS program right until morning and then going straight with my classmates to the department tailgate the next day like nothing happened. graduate, I'm most proud of the fact that Keck allowed me to teach anatomy as well as equipped me with the tools needed to explore other interdisciplinary fields between public health and medicine. This allowed me to work for Eric Garcetti on public health. What I miss the most about Keck was the passionate, caring, and intellectual faculty members that I had the opportunity to learn from and TA for. My favorite memory at USC was going to the UCLA football games and watching us beat the Bruins. What I will miss most about USC is my mentors. Each and every one of them invested in me like no one had ever done before, and each of them pushed me to my absolute limits. Thank you, you've been like family. memorable experience I had at USC definitely has to be the opportunity I had to take a course on the aging population abroad with my fellow USC classmates in Tokyo, Japan. I miss Japan so much that I had to recreate the onsen experience in my backyard. What I will miss most about USC is late night group studies at Norris Library during midterms and finals week. As a USC graduate, my proudest moment was being able to put my work and research directly into the frontline response of COVID-19 within my community. Nobody sees this at a running nose when you get sick. Four cups a day, most of which get swallowed. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Lex Luthor, and I am so excited to be able to. I'm sorry, hang on one second. My agent's here. Come on. Yeah, I'm filming right now. Hmm. Hmm. Really? Okay. All right. Um, 
Well, apparently, I'm in the wrong cinematic universe for a movie sticker. We'll, uh, we'll just, we'll figure this out a different way. The University of Southern California is known around the world for producing some of the world's best film production and writing graduates. But you know what else USC is fantastic and known for around the world as well? It's producing STEM graduates, science, technology, engineering, and math. My name is Eric Schulze, and I am this year's commencement speaker, and I am a proud graduate of the Keck School of Medicine graduate programs. I want to wish all the graduates this year a wonderful congratulations. And I know we can't be there in person yet, but I do want to urge you all to stay safe and sane during this time until we can get together to share and celebrate. So, borrowing from my favorite YouTuber, love with your heart, use your mind for everything else. Until then, I'll see you soon. Cut. Great. Listen, so you're telling me this isn't a DC Cinematic Universe? Then why did I shave my head? I need a better agent. Thank <laughs> you.